Hey everybody, here we are, ready to make another meal. We've got a lot of stuff all over this counter. We have some carrots, some corn, some onions, some bell pepper, thyme, cayenne pepper, diced tomatoes, grits, vegetable stock, and some fresh garlic, and some salt. We're going to be making what they call Hopping John Grits. It's out of our Forks Over Knives uh, meal planner. So I did have to make a couple changes. I didn't get the grits in time that the recipe called for, so I'm changing it to instant grits. So we're gonna see how that turns out. I might have to add a little butter uh, to it and a little bit more salt, see what that's gonna turn out like. And of course, you can see I have my coffee. You have to have the coffee. So what we're going to do is cook the grits first. So the grits we're going to do, we're making four servings. The recipe will be in the description so this is a brand new vegetable stock and we're just gonna dump that whole thing in here and hopefully we will uh, not splatter it all over myself and turn that on hopefully you can see everything okay yeah, you can see. have to check the camera Add some garlic, half of my little garlic stash here in my nice little press and uh, get some garlic in here. two cups of instant grits. The recipe called for uh, yellow hominy grits. I probably could have ordered them on Amazon or from uh, Walmart online, but I didn't in time. So we just went ahead and just got the regular instant grits and uh, I made adjustments to the recipe, which of course, like I said, the recipe will be in the description on how we got it. So, you know, if you want to make a change, you can, or if you want to do it the way I did, you can. We'll see how it turns out. Okay, we got our water pretty much boiling, so we're going to add our two cups of grits. Here's one cup. And we'll have the other cup. Be careful when you're making grits, everybody. If you've never made grits before, whether they're instant or whether they're slow cook, when they pop, they will burn you. Use a nice long handled spoon so you don't get popped. Then we're gonna cook those till they get nice and thick. Smells good, that's for sure. So after these get nice and thick, I'm going to put a half a stick of vegan plant-based butter in them. The recipe does not call for that. I just do it to keep everything nice and creamy and add a little added flavor. And as you can see, it's starting to pop. So just take it off the uh, burner there. Just mix them up real good. And you're pretty much good to go. Turn that off. When they start popping, they will get you and they will burn you. So that was a good example I wanted to show you guys. Because I don't like uh, getting popped with hot grits. Take our butter and we'll just stick it right on the top like that. And we'll just put that off to the side for now. fry pan out okay we got our fry pan out here 
and we're gonna start sauteing all of our vegetables so they get nice and tender. And the recipe always calls for sauteing your uh, vegetables from the Forks Over Nice site in water. I do not usually do that. I like to use a little vegetable broth instead. So you can use whatever you like. That's one of my garlics got away from me. Oops. I overloaded it. Okay, got the nice smell of garlic in there. to fry. Put a little vegetable broth in there. Some onions. The carrots. The bell peppers. turn this up a little bit so we're gonna start we're gonna saute these vegetables until the onion starts to turn a little translucent and then we're gonna add the remaining vegetables in and the black eyed peas I got my wrist black eyed peas right there I got my tomatoes all right What do you guys think? Looks pretty good, don't it? Who would have thought that you could get all this protein just out of plants? Now, of course, you know, I can't lie, I have to be honest. And there's a lot of stuff that goes into this dish. You can change it, of course, to whatever you want. But if you really uh, don't like any of the ingredients in this dish, you're probably not gonna like it. But if you like the ingredients, if I can keep them in the pan, um, I suggest you give it a try. So far, it looks just wonderful. I'm gonna get these nice and sauteed. And I'll be back shortly. All right, we got our vegetables nice and sauteed. So now, we're gonna add the black beans. We're gonna add the diced tomatoes in their juices. We're gonna mix that up real good. We're gonna add in the thyme. We're gonna add in the cayenne pepper. And then it also calls for a little hot sauce. Now, this is where you can really get creative. As you can see here, I pulled out four different things. I pulled out some sriracha. I pulled out a green poblano pepper uh, hot sauce. I pulled out a chipotle and I pulled out uh, some red curry paste if you want a little bit of curry flavor instead. This is where you can get creative on whatever you want or if you want to put a little salsa in it. 
is entirely up to you. With this one, I'm going with Chipotle, and it's just for two tablespoons, and the Chipotle is just going to add a smoky flavor on these black eyed peas and these tomatoes. So it'll give a nice little smoky flavor to it, and uh, that's what I've picked for this dish. Now we're going to cover, mix that up real well, and we're going to cover and let that simmer for about five minutes. And I'll wipe up my mess that I'm making. All right, look at this, everybody. Isn't that just wonderful? Look at the bright colors. We've been simmering this for about five minutes. Just absolutely gorgeous. Now we're gonna assemble our plates. We're gonna give this a try. Let me turn it off, slide it over a little bit, make room for our grits. Here's our wonderful grits. Now, if anybody in the past has ever had grits and they didn't like them, it is possible that you just don't like grits or they're maybe made wrong. But as you can see how nice and wonderfully these grits are, if you put the butter, if you cook them completely through, get some salt on them. Well, I know these are the instant, but even in the full ones, if you cook them all the way through, you can get grits like this that's not turning into a hockey puck or hanging wallpaper with. They're beautiful, they're nice and moist. And one of the big keys that I found when I'm doing them, everybody does it different, is putting the butter in after your grits have cooked, put them in there, covering it up, just letting it set, and that'll keep your grits from hardening into uh, putty. And it just makes them beautiful. So now we're going to take our vegetables and we're going to put those right in the middle like so and a little salt and pepper if you need it and there it is piping hot very good yum all right guys i'll be back with another video at another time enjoy your night please like and share subscribe if you really like the videos and uh any uh questions you have or comments you want to put in the notifications just let me know i will try to answer one and everybody bye